Hello viewers, welcome back. I have been busy this week, mostly on business trip in Europe, but yet I have managed to find a time to prepare you one magnetic motor. And this time it is Harry Warrington magnetic motor. It's ancient patent from 1925, but yet it's very interesting, it's very different from other motors. So let's get to the drawings and see how this beast works. Okay, so this is the complete assembly. You have to say, this looks really, really amazing, yeah? And uh, the patent is so old, from 1925, yeah? So it's a Harry Warrington magnetic motor. <laughs> it's not Sam Warrington, I hope it's not some uh, far relative from the famous actor. <laughs> but yet, don't, don't waste of time on that. Let's try to describe this, this magnetic, uh, let's say, beast. So let's see. So you can see, I also indicated here the standard generator. So basically this assembly over here is our standard generator which will produce our free energy. And that is all about my channel now, the free energy and how to get it. So this is the steel, uh, the rubber belt and this is the 1 to 3 ratio uh, gear. Yeah? So that's it. That's the how we should extract the energy. But now let's focus on the magnetic motor and now you can see from the first side it has really unusual set of magnets. So it has a horseshoe magnets arranged that each second magnet you can see it's uh, actually they repel each other. All of them repel each other in the horizontal and in vertical way. So rotor and stator. So let's now try to move this up and see how it's what is the idea of uh, how this should work. So let me isolate to see much better this now inside of the motor. So I'll start from the beginning. So you can see uh, at the, in the middle there is this, the, is this main rotor shaft. Yeah? And on this shaft you know, it's mounted on the housing via this bearing. Yeah? So that's, that's clear. And on this shaft there are, uh, there are mounted the rotor magnets. The rotor horseshoe magnets. And you can see if you check that uh, red, blue, blue, red red blue so it they they oppose each other even in a horizontal way yeah and and that's it nothing special on the on the rotor the rotor is set of four four magnets 90 uh, 90 degrees apart and the, the stator on the other way it has eight magnets so basically two uh, twice the amount of the rotor magnets the permanent magnets so you can see uh, and how this rotor now should spin. So that, this is the whole key of this pattern. Yeah? So how this rotor should spin. You can see that the stator magnets, if I, they are mounted in inside of this, uh, let's say, some kind of hole is where these magnets are actually fixed on the stator. Yeah? You can see that. And now we have uh, this unusual, unusual set here. You can see this over here what I selected right now, these are the four, let's say, mechanisms for controlling of the of these rollers. So as you can see on the left and on the right side there is a, a round roller yeah? and they can actually, you, you can see, they will spin or they will rotate, rotate basically uh, and uh, the rotation will be controlled or the moving up and down of this uh, of these rollers will be initiated through this green mechanism yeah? and this uh, uh, and these are some solenoids actually you can see these brown brown sticks are solenoids which go in and out and they are electrically controlled yeah and from i think from now you can see you can start to even uh, figuring out how this should work let me turn this a little round it's really unusual yeah so, so as I explained from the beginning you can see that also uh, the in in vertical way this is a red and red is up so in vertical way these magnets also repel each other so basically the idea is that magnets repel each other when they are spinning yeah they will repel magnets on the rotor will repel from the magnets on the stator yeah because it's their like, like pole poles are facing each other and now the only and last thing how this motor should work is basically these solenoids this brown brown sticks uh, and brown mechanism uh, which will control these rollers which will actually uh, demagnetize 
uh, the magnets so they, they can spin so you can see if I now select this cell yeah? so this is the round part over here when I'm selecting right now where my mouse is going it's the position on which uh, let's say we will uh, detach the contact from the stator magnet and then uh, from the other from the other set of magnets this will also happen in the next set over here uh, where is my mouse at this point yeah and these solenoids are electrically controlled in these days should be controlled by some external uh, let's say um, pulse mechanism but uh, in the uh, at the patent but I did not draw that specifically the roll on the rotor there are brushes yeah, on this rotor there are brushes and the brush mechanism is actually initiating um, in exact moments uh, when these solenoids should be fired of, of this green mechanism yeah so that uh, this assembly this yellow assembly yeah will be controlled to move uh, to move up and down and actually magnetize or demagnetize the magnets so the rotor can continue to spin yeah? so that's it yeah so the 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 key of this magnetic motor is this uh, let's say this uh, gray rollers controlled by solenoids green with uh, with this yellow part which will be the mechanism for moving these rollers and that's basically it yeah so can this work i cannot really say but it does look amazing and this in the first uh, mag, uh, magnetic motor I saw that uses the horseshoe magnets uh, uh, as the gear magnets of the system so this is it all right so you have seen that he used unusual type of magnets uh, horseshoe magnets in the magnetic motor assembly you, you saw also that he used uh, this uh, magnetic shunting so moving of this uh, rollers to be uh, with in combination with solenoids to actually attract and to enable that this can spin indefinitely yeah so okay it really works it's ancient patent almost 100 year old but yet it's very interesting and it does have sense that this may work so thanks for watching until next video please stay tuned on my channel bye bye